In this video, I'm going to give an overview of a suite of applications that are available for free for educators called Rich Internet Applications for Language Learning. These applications have all been built by educators at the Center for Language Education and Research, which is hosted by Michigan State University. The URL to access these applications is clear.msu.edu forward slash teaching forward slash online forward slash RIA. I'll save this link in my comments. Um, so one thing to know about this suite of applications is that anybody can access them through their web browsers so long as they have internet access and you don't need to install anything to use the applications and that if you want to access the documents that you create with these applications both you need an account and your students need to sign up for an account. The accounts are free and they only take a moment to set up but that's an important thing to know. So let's scroll down here and take a look at the applications. So as you scroll down you'll see in the center of the screen there all of the apps are listed in the center. And the first app to come up is called Audio Dropboxes and Audio Dropbox Audio Dropboxes is an application that allows students to record themselves and submit the recording to you. Um, you can embed it in a web page um, or just send a link to the Dropbox and the students will use their microphones and record themselves speaking and it will be sent straight to you. Broadcasts is an application that allows you to create podcasts and podcasts are recordings that are made available on the internet when you record and then release a podcast, anyone who subscribes to that podcast will receive the recording automatically. Conversations is an application that allows you to create back and forth audio, audio or visual questions and answers. You or your students can record yourself asking questions and then the viewers can record their responses back. Mashups is an application that allows you to combine elements from the, around the internet including other rich internet applications that you've created um, such as uh, audio drop boxes or conversations or broadcasts and embed all of them into a single page. So with the mashups program you can combine text, photos, YouTube videos, websites and um, and consolidate them into a single link that you send out to your students and then they would just navigate that single link to access those resources. Quiz Break lets you make Jeopardy like quizzes. Revisions is a collaborative text editor. Your students will join or invite your students. Your students will join revisions or you can invite your students to join the document that you create with revisions. After they join that document, they can create, edit, and submit text documents of their own. They can also attach audio uh, and other files to those documents that they create. And it's also possible to do annotations within revisions. Scribbles is an application that allows you to create recordings and drawing or recordings of writing and drawing that can be played back later and commented on online. Smile is an application that you can use to create interactive practice exercises. The exercises include multiple choice, multiple select exercises, true false exercises, drag and drop exercises, sentence and paragraph scramble exercises, and close or fill in the gap exercises. Video drop boxes, just like audio drop box, is um, a centralized place that your students can upload recordings of themselves and those recordings will be sent to you and they uh, it's configured to do it with a webcam. Viewpoint is an application that combines the functionality of audio drop boxes and video drop boxes and allows those videos those video or audio uploads to be organized and then made publicly available. Basically view, Viewpoint is YouTube for educational use. You can upload audio and video and then make it publicly available to the, to the internet. So one thing to note about Viewpoint is that if you choose to make those, um, those videos publicly available, well, people don't need to create accounts 
to view those documents then. And so if, uh, if having your students create an account to use the clear applications or to log in to see those documents you create with clear um, is a problem, viewpoint is one solution. And worksheets allows you to create an online document that combines vocab tests, multiple choice questions, drag and drop questions, and completion or short answer questions. These worksheets are interactive and shareable across the internet. So that is a very quick and brief overview of the 11 applications that currently make up Rich's, Clear's Rich Internet Application Suite. In subsequent videos, I'll go through uh, these applications one by one and give, a, give an example of one way in which, in which to use them. Uh, one quick additional note is that on this site you can see there's a link to video tutorials and, and if you click on any of the individual applications there is a link to documentation for each of those individual applications. So if you don't if you're not interested in uh, watching any of the subsequent videos, I encourage you to take a look at the documentation that is built into all of the applications. Alright, thank you for watching.